guys and welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video actually you can also hit on the notification bell if you actually like what i've done with this tutorial please don't hesitate to just hit on the like button to let me know you are actually appreciate what i'm doing it means a lot to me so actually today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut a skirt actually i don't know what to name this skirt because i actually created this skirt i was actually tired of i have so many skirts i was actually tired of sewing six pieces skirt eight pieces skirt trumpet skirt panel skirt and these are basically the skirts that i invoke so i was not thinking what do i do so i now came up with this um with this skirt so I just want to show it to you. So as you can see, come closely, please. As you can see what I did with the skirt, you can see the side of the skirt like this. It's straight. I made it like the, 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 the side is straight down. This other side, you can see it is straight down. But you can see the middle piece. Here, I have two, two panels here at the middle. Then the down part of the middle, I have like a paneled part that I cut and then did a key split. And I attached it to, to this middle piece. Like I told you, I did the same thing to the back. So that's what I'm actually going to be teaching you how to sew today. Like I told you, I said I created this skirt. So I don't really have a name for it. So now I'm going to walk you through how I made this skirt. It's very beautiful and fine. So now I'll begin with my exact fabric i just wanted to use this to show you how it is done so i'll fold my fabric now so this is the middle part like i told you i just folded my fabric my leftover fabric so this is 19 inches i already marked it out i added one inch as my seam allowance so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to use a, a the same measurement from the top to the bottom so i'll be, I'll be folding this is 6 inches, which is 12. That's for the middle. The middle piece, this is 12. So I just add half an inch. So now I'm going to be taking it down like this. Just straight. I'll take it down to this down part. So let me measure again to be very sure. So 6 and half. That's what I'm, I'll be using. This is 6 and half here. This is 6 and half. So the middle part also six and a half. So I just take it like this. You can see I'm not making use of my ruler. I don't want it to be straight as in very straight. So I just made this little like it just a little curve on it. So now I'll cut it out. So this is it you can see it's not straight it's not really straight so you just make like a like a slanted curve like when you're cutting your your pencil skirt so just make a little slant on it it should not be straight if you can still make it straight it should still be okay so now like here now like i said i have i have seven inches here six and a half inches that's what i'm going to be using so now for the the side piece now I'm going to be cutting. Let me fold the fold it first for the side. This is the middle of the front and the back. So for the for the side, I'll put my my tape like this. I'll measure six. Like if you've been going through most of my videos. Like I always say, in between 6 and 10, that's where you insert your hip measurement. Between 6 and 10, that's where you insert your, your hip measurement. Then 19, that's your knee. You can always measure. This is the knee measurement. Add 1 inch as my allowance. Then the full length. Then the full length of the skirt is 43. 43 then i'll use this one inch as my allowance so i'll just stop it here so now 
I'm going to be explaining to you how to insert this measurement into this. Like I told you initially, this is the middle piece. Let me set the back piece aside. This is the this is the middle piece. This is the middle piece. So this middle piece will like just like the way we cut our six pieces skirt. It's just that I'm not gonna be cutting this part. So I'll take this part now like this. I'll place it here like this. Just like I want to cut my six pieces skirt. And just place it like this. And then measure out my full measurement. So, like I told you initially, I said the waist of the skirt is 40, 42. So when you divide 42 into 4, you have 10.5. So I'll just take it like this. This is 10. If you see, you notice that there's a half an inch here. I'm going to be cutting it out. Just like you, if you're cutting your six pieces skirt. So this is 10. This is 10.5. This is 10.5. Then I'll add my 2 inch for my allowance here. I'll just mark it like this. Then for the hip, which is this middle piece. The hip, when you divide 48 into 4, you have 12 inches. So I'll just put my tape like this. And then mark like this. This is 12 inches. I'll add two and a half inch as my allowance and then make my curve like this. Just our normal basic, basic skirt curve. Your normal hip curve. If you follow how, but if, if there's a video on my channel how to sew a, a, a six pieces skirt, this is just like what I'm doing. So this is it as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the knee the knee part so for the knee i'm going to be making use of 40 inches for the knee so which is 10 and then i'll add two and a half inch as my allowance so now I'll bring this down here so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is the down part for this down part of this sketch you determine what you want how wide you want you actually want it to be so that one you determine how wide you want it to be so for the the down part you note that this this middle part we are still going to be cutting another one that i'll put in this middle so that one you can determine you can fold it however you want it depends on how big you want your key splits to be so for this down part now i'm going to be making use of 11 inches so I'll add maybe like two and a half inch as my allowance. So the next thing I'll do now is just bring my tape, my, my straight rule and bring it down here. I hope you actually understand what I'm doing. This case is it's easy, but just follow what I'm doing and you understand. So this so I'm just going to go through it again before I cut it out let me go through it again like I told you initially this middle part of this skirt this is the middle piece of this skirt I just used um, six inches to cut it out that's this middle piece I measured uh, the, the half length which is from the waist down to the knee which is 19 inches and I added one inch on it as my allowance then I now use, I just use something like a basic measurement. So I use six and a half and I added half an inch to it as allowance. So I now have seven here. So that's what I just did. And I ran the seven down straight to the 19 inch and then cut it out. So now, when I now wanted to get the full skirt measurement, that's the full measurement. I just brought it and kept like this. I folded this fabric into two. I folded it into two. How, how do you determine how wide you, you fold it to? How I determined the, the, the width of this? I divided it into four. After dividing, I got 12. And after got, getting 12, I now divided again and got six. 
So I now knew that, okay, this middle piece, I'll have like something that will be more than six inches. So that was how, how I folded this. So you not get confused. So you don't want to waste your fabric. So for me to now get the, the full measurement, I now brought this piece now and placed it like this, as you can see. So I now measured the, the waist. As in this is the full measurement now of this skirt. The waist measurement you divide into four. I measured the hip part. I divided into four and measured from here. Then the knee. Then the down. The down, like I said, the down circumference. You can determine this by any how you want it. It depends on how wide you want it. So now I'll be cutting it out. What I'm actually doing, if you follow my skirt, my illustration on how to cut a a six piece skirt, you you get it will become clearer to you what I'm actually doing. So I'll just cut it out like this. So with this, so for this part, like I told you. I'll just open it up. I'll just open this part up. I'll just open it up like this. So I'll open it up. So I have it like this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, as you can see, the skirt is not complete. I still need something down here to come to this side. So I'll just fold my skirt again. My sorry, my remaining fabric. With this, I'll cut another two pieces out from here. So this is for the front. I'll cut another one for the back. So for the middle, for the down piece. I am going to be cutting the length I'm going to be needing for this part now. So I'll just measure like this. What I need now, I need like 25 inches, but I'll put allowance. I'll still add same allowance to it. So I'll make it like 26 inches. So, so this width now, this middle piece now, actually depends on how wide I want my key splits to be. I don't want it to be too, too big like that. So I'll just fold like this. I'll fold it like this at 16 inches and then just cut it out. We'll just cut it out like this. Like I told you, this is the, the middle piece. This is the middle part. I'll just make a notch here at the middle. And then just bring it like this. And then. I'll pin it like this. And then pin it down. Then this is my, just to secure it. So this is the, the middle part. This is the middle part. So I'll bring it together like this. I'll bring it together like this to this middle part of this front and just put it like this and then just take my ruler my short ruler and then just make a slant just put it together like this my key split is already secured so I'll just take like one inch just for seam allowance 
just here like this and then just make it run a slant down like this So at the end of the day, I have something like this. This is the middle. This is it. So I'll sew this. Before you start sewing, all you have to do is you sew this part. Let me just use pin to indicate it for you. So it will be easy. I'll just take my middle piece. Like you can decide to, like I told you in one of my videos, you can just decide to run a stitch here. So this middle part will now be like two. If you want to, you can do it. You can still decide not to do it. So it depends on what you want. And then you bring this part. As you're sewing, you just secure it like this. So as you can see, this is the middle piece. So I'm just going to run a straight stitch on the middle just to divide it into two. So the middle will now look like this now as you can see i've divided it into two so for this middle piece now this is where i'm going this down this down part of this middle now this is where i'll be sewing putting my key split on like i told you i've already done the key split so before then i can still decide to open it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sew I'll start sewing from here so anything that is remaining, when I get to the middle, I just take it like this, this part, take the edge of the down part and this edge also. As you can see, this is the middle, this place that I did this straight stitch on. So I'm going to stop. And then start from this other side also and then take it like this so i've almost gotten to the middle so i'm going to stop now and then we arrange my my kiss pleats now i'll just rearrange it you can decide to do a box pleat you can decide to do a kiss you can decide to even pleat it just Normal pleats on it. So I just secure the middle properly like this. And then so. As you can see, you can see I finished the middle piece. You can see now the skirt is is making is sense. Now it's looking clearer now. So this I'll now take this past, I'll sew it to this side, and then take this part. It's just like a six pieces skirt, but it's just that the up part is different, and then join to this side. So as you can see, that's it. You just sew down like this. You do the same thing to the back that cut like i told you you cut another piece like this down part for the middle piece of the 
the down this is the back piece you know i added one inch allowance to it because of the zip so i open it up here now and then cut another one make sure you cut another one with this and then cut another one so everything you're going to be cutting this piece you're going to be cutting four two for the front two for the back then for the this mid this down part you cut another one like this again that you use for the back for the back piece so this is the back i'll start sewing from the top as you can see now this is the front of the skirt so the next thing you do you just iron and then you just iron and then take out your your waist measurements your hip measurement your knee measurement and then you are good to go you do the same like i told you, you do the same thing to the back when i was cutting this front piece i i placed with the back and added one inch allowance so this is a notch just put a notch here for the back and then open the back piece like this and then do the same thing to sew the back you don't have to open it down all you have to do is once you are done once you sew this part just like the way i i made this stitch on this front then you attach this down part to this to the to this part and then you are good to go so like I said, I've come to the end of this tutorial. It's, it's actually a simple skirt. It's just that it's a little bit different from a six pieces skirt. It's just like a six pieces skirt, but different, but with a kiss pleat at the, the down. So I've come to the end of this um, tutorial. If you have any question, don't hesitate to just drop your, your comments on the comment section. Like this video, share this video. If you actually like what I have done, like I said, just hit on the like button to let me know. So if you are having any problem with it, you can ask me. I will reply you. So thank you so much for watching and bye.